buy our groceries, right? Well, dozens of hands, food, baby bumps <laughs> could rest on that same cart in just a few hours. It's true. So we wanted to know what kind of germs those carts are harboring. Sterile testing kits, rubber gloves, and a simple damp sponge wiped across the handle of grocery carts gave us a true picture of the invisible bacteria riding with your baby or rubbing off on your hands. We tested one cart at four stores, the HEB on Sawdust Road in Spring, the Kroger on Sweetwater Boulevard in Sugarland, this Target on the Katy Freeway in South Fry, and this Walmart on Garth Road in Baytown. They're gross. I mean, they're, they have organisms on there that can cause disease. Dr. Paul Pierce of Nova Biologicals in Conroe tested the samples and found all the normal germs you'd expect on a shared surface with high traffic. But the Walmart handle was contaminated with a strain of staph that is resistant to antibiotics. When a child or someone that's immune compromised gets an infection with this type of organism, it'll be very difficult to treat. The target cart harbored a toxic microorganism that can cause food poisoning if ingested. The bacteria on the Kroger cart can cause everything from pneumonia to urinary tract infections. And the HEB cart harbored a different strain of staph that can cause skin infections. When the right host comes along, the right person comes along, then these can become infectious. <laughs> Every store in our test told us they provide these courtesy antibacterial wipes so customers can sanitize their carts. But Pierce says most of us are doing it too quickly and carelessly to make a difference. You don't get the full contact. It takes a certain amount of time for it to be effective against uh, germs, against microorganisms. He recommends using two wipes, one after the other, slowly wiping the entire handle and giving the disinfectant time to work against that bacteria. We asked every store in our test if they ever clean their carts, how often and how. Only Target claimed their carts are cleaned routinely, but it didn't say how or how often. So Dr. Pierce says those shopping cart covers that parents sometimes use so that your baby doesn't touch the cart directly can be helpful, but he says you need to wash those periodically, not just throw them in, the, in your car because then you're just transferring the bacteria from the cart to your car. You got to throw them in the wash. Everything has to be washed. Yeah, I, I, I just, that's too much. <laughs> At some point, you just got to put, gotta I put the sick. baby in the cart. Right. I go into Home Depot. And I just right. go for it. Anyway.